What's going on, everyone? Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. I'm glad you guys could all make it because I was worried with us being uh, streaming on a Monday that nobody would be here. But we got a whole bunch of people here. I see Primal and Gaming Hyena. I've seen a couple people because I do sit here and I read the chat before I go live. Uh, a couple people saying like, oh, I can finally make a stream. And that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted uh, I wanted some new people to be able to join in in the stream in. So that's why we're going to be throwing in some weekday streams here as soon as I get my act together, as soon as I figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life. Uh, throwing in some weekday streams. So good morning, everyone. Still morning, though. So I have the day off. I worked all weekend. I work Saturday and Sunday. So today is my day off, and then I go back to work tomorrow. Good morning, Blockhead Brat and Lilia. Uh, is that Fred Fredalicious? Fredalicious? <laughs> good morning. Elephant Puppet, good morning. Drew's here. We're going to be raiding Mr. Drew earlier. I coordinated so that we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't overlap with him so that we could all go hang out in his stream. A little bit selfish on my part because I want to go hang out in his stream. So I didn't want to be streaming at the same time. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to watch it. Good morning, Emily. Hi, Linda. I saw MS Queen here too. Good morning, Planet Zoo Creations. Uh, Michael is here. Yeah, we're back in Sakura Zoo. But before we jump into it, before we jump in, uh, music, audio check. Yell at me. Is it wrong? Can you not hear it? I know you guys can hear me because you're already talking to me, but... Uh, desktop, or not desktop music, uh, Spotify music. Can you, well, it's not playing now, it skips songs. <laughs> but when it comes back on, okay, you should be able to hear it. Um, making sure that that is all good. So I have like four days left for your summer vacation. That's awesome. Good morning. Uh, oh wow, you're all the way from Norway. Hi, Hellhound. Hi, Jojo. I've always wanted to go to Norway. Can your exhibits not be so awesome? <laughs> lots of practice and lots of patience, let me tell you. So if you guys made it to last week's stream, you saw we kind of completed like this half. I just duplicated it over here. We spent the whole stream. I, I looked back and we spent two hours placing rocks, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> two whole hours and we placed all these rocks and that's pretty much all we did. So what I've planned for today is climbing structures. So we can take a break from the rocks, although I think we do need a few more. Uh, There's not quite as many rocks as I envisioned for this habitat, but we will take a break and we'll do climbing structures because that way it's something different um, and those need to get done anyway. So yeah, Heather rocks. And then we also do have a brand new member of the Banana Bunch, uh, Animal License. Thank you so much. They joined yesterday, so I got them all set up. So you see the little banana bits next to their name and their name's in green for me. Uh, so thank you, welcome. Super, super appreciate that. <laughs> you ready for some climbing structures, Drew? I did some, I did some research, not your level research. I didn't fall down quite as far of a rabbit hole as you went down with your new project, but I've got some, where'd they go? I've got some reference pictures. Bam, beautiful. Look at that one. And then where did it go? That one's not even my favorite one. It doesn't look quite as run down as we need it to look. Where the heck did my other one go? Uh, oh, I got this one. Beautiful. I want to use some, um, not bright, like lighter colored logs. Ugh, did I not save it? Darn it, I must have just looked at it and not saved it. But yeah, anyway, we got those two things going for us today. So getting our gorilla and our mandrill all set up with something to climb on. Whoops, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons over here. You guys can't see that, but I was hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> I'm always so prepared with reference photos. I live my life like being prepared for things. Man, working with animals, you gotta make a plan A and a plan B, and oftentimes a plan like C, D, and E too, because A and B never work out, and then C sometimes works out, but most oftentimes D and E work out, working with animals. They kind of do their own thing, so gotta be ultra prepared. <laughs> Plus, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing when I'm on stream. I want to make sure I don't, uh, I don't miss anything. All right, let me just get my little reference pictures there sorted so I can see them. 
and I think we'll start with the gorilla. So I was torn when I was looking for climbing structures. These guys, they're not, um, they're not like the capuchin monkeys. They're not like, I mean, we don't have gibbons in game, but they're not like really good at like actual climbing. They're not gonna like swing from tree to tree and stuff like that. So that's why the reference pictures that I pulled have some like really thick structures to them. Um, actually, hold on one second. Let me do this and boom, great. Make sure that I uh, record this so it can be part of a video later. <laughs> uh, so making sure that they have like thick um, beams and things like that. So we're gonna go straight to, I think what I'm calling effectively my favorite pack. Uh, we're gonna pull out some of these here cause I'm gonna make use of those. Um, yeah, maybe even make use of these pull all these out and then we need the rope we're just kind of gathering our materials rope 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 perfect but how are you guys doing today Monday morning I don't normally talk to you guys on a Monday morning my week just so you guys know is gonna be incredibly thrown off uh, because of this <laughs> I'm gonna spend all day tomorrow thinking that it is, uh, that it's Monday when it's really Tuesday and then I'll get to Friday and I'll just be all sorts of confused. <laughs> Hi Stevie, how are you? Uh, yes, Primal will be building in like a little house to their, uh, climbing structure. Um, it's not going to be too much. Uh, one of the reference pictures that I don't, I looked at and I didn't save it. It had like a little, like a little house, just like a little portion that had a roof on it. So I think we'll be doing that. It's Tuesday morning here in Australia. Well, look at that. You're already ahead of me. How's the future? <laughs> um, I feel like, oh, where is that? It came in the aquatic pack and this one, right? Yeah, perfect. That beam, that beam. I don't really want to use the bed. Great. I guess we'll get started. Um, yeah, now what do I, what do I want to use for the, I don't really want to pull out bamboo. I'm looking at, I'm looking at this one here and I'm trying to figure out what I want to use for the platform. Cause that's kind of what I want to start with. Oh, you know what? Let's go into, um, let's go into nature. Cause right. We don't, we have some really cool, like fallen, like this kind of stuff. Yes. No, that's too ragged. No, that's too ragged too. I don't want it to look like an actual tree. I want it to look like like a tree that's been stripped of all its bark because in reality, like the, the um, monkeys would tear all this off. So it would just be like a, a slick tree, right? <laughs> you had prom Saturday and found out you're having another little sister yesterday. Congratulations, Primal. That's really exciting. That's really exciting. A brand new sister. I have a little sister. They're quite annoying sometimes, but they're good, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? The double habitat is coming along nicely. Thank you, Stevie. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, we don't have what I was thinking of, so we're just gonna go off with this. I wish this was shorter, because this is like perfect for what I wanna use, but... go ahead and start over here. I want to make one here and then let's take maybe this one over here. We'll see if I like this. I'm notorious for building things and then deciding I don't like them. <laughs> or dead looking stick props. Oh, you know what? You're right, Drew. The the tree, the faux tree that came in the aquatics pack. That's what you're talking about, huh? I always forget about that one. I don't think I've ever quite used it. Oh, but it's recolorable. Okay, hold the phone. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Is it in? It's in nature, right? I thought I... Mm, no. Aquatic pack. Go. Aha. Yes. Let's put some of this out here because I forgot that it is recolorable. 
and we can kind of put these, if we align them to the surface, they can kind of look like an actual tree. Shocker, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Hi, Doodle Sims, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I'm so glad so many of you guys could join us on a Monday morning. Like I said, I was so worried that, that nobody was gonna be able to make it. Or that I'm so, you know, I've been streaming on Sundays for a while now that everybody would just kind of forget about me on Monday mornings. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. I don't really want to put that one on there. But can we make this like a tan color? Because then that will match what I am trying to go for. Not that yellow. Mm hmm. What? There, that's getting closer to what I want. That looks pretty good, right? Oh, you already have a younger sibling? <laughs> yeah, I only have one. I just have one younger sibling and we're actually only 13 months apart. So um, we, we were quite like close, I mean, we still are close in age. I say that like we changed ages. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're quite close in age. So um, uh, it made it made it growing up kind of interesting. <laughs> but yeah, she's 13 months younger than me. And uh, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about her age. <laughs> but she's good. I like my sister. You have to like your sister, right? Loved my tapir episode. Thank you. I really liked that one. I actually, I really, really did. Um, you know, I like, I like a lot of things that I build because <laughs> obviously I, you know, I build them and then put them out, but that one I really had fun with. I really had fun kind of using the, um, the Australian pieces in a different aesthetic than I'm, than I'm used to. And, um, I had a lot of, a lot of fun with that one. A lot of fun with that one. Down. Let's see if we can't make this climbing structure. The problem is, maybe I maybe I do want to use the bed. This. Yeah, maybe I do want to use it. They'll still go on it, right? Because these are a bit too thick for my liking. <laughs> I like this. Is kind of exactly what I wanted because that kind of looks run down. Yes, I like that better. Add some orange. Are you talking about into the fake tree? I'll see. We can always play with the color at the end, but that's that's an okay color, I think, for starting at least, um, because it gives us a good like jumping off point. That way it's not the, uh, like the dark color I really didn't, didn't want. So let's go ahead and put these in here. Here and here. Oops. I don't want to edit the rock. <sighs> Your brother's only two and a half years older, so it's nice. You're very, uh, similar. My sister and I are actually not similar at all. Well, okay. I mean, we're siblings, so we have to be somewhat similar, but as far as like personality, her and I are, are very different. We are very different people. Not in a bad way, but we're just, we're just very different. There we go. No such thing as too thick. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to touch that topic. Because I had comments come into mind, but I, I, I'm next <laughs> moving on. <laughs> You're definitely taking notes. Your siblings are seven and 10 years older. Wow. 10 years is quite the gap. That is quite the gap. I always kind of wanted a younger, like a, um, a sibling, like another sibling, an additional sibling. Um, but my parents only wanted two. Yeah, that is good because then we can maybe take, maybe take this one and bring it 
down like the sloping one that it is. Get the angle snap off, bring it out. Cause this one can be kind of coming down from this corner, I think. Cause I want it to look, we do want it to look like man-made. We don't want it to look uh, like, a, like a, a real tree. So that's what we're going for. I wish these kind of went together a little bit nicer. I'll have to kind of hide those, hide those corners somehow, but I think it'll be okay. Where are you building the power supply? I hadn't thought about that yet because I always play in, uh, I was playing sandbox. Everything's powered, <laughs> but we'll be doing a building, uh, right behind, uh, right behind this habitat. And so that's probably where power would be. Put that up like that. I think they'd be able to get over that, right? And it hides that corner. Your bagel is done. Bagels are like one of my favorite foods. I, I love a bagel. Bagel cream cheese, so good. I, this morning, have a smoothie because Matt was nice enough to go out to Jamba Juice and get me a smoothie. So I was setting up stream. And he went out and did that. Very, very kind of him. Um, let's, actually, I totally forgot. We also have, go away. We also have uh, painted round poles, right? So we can grab these ones. Perfect. Because I wanna make little ladders. Actually, let's make it over here and then we'll move it over there. That is a good idea. Do you wanna do a community zoo because uh, I'm, because you're practicing the whole time? Yeah, so actually I, um, I really do want to do a community zoo and I haven't spent the time to get it like organized and figured out, which is the only thing that's stopping me. Um, I've pretty much already decided that we do want to do one and that I will do one. I just need to figure it out first. It takes, takes some coordination. So, um, but yes, if you're interested in that, are these, I'm going to ask the same question. Are these too thick? <laughs> these might be too thick for what I'm thinking of because the monkeys are not that big, but let's see if we grab the painted, there's some planks too which I forgot to grab out these ones. That's better. There we go. We don't want them looking too huge. Maybe we can make um, some of the other stuff out of those planks, but these ones are better. These kind of match more what I was thinking of. They're not quite as like uh, jagged or like rustic, I guess, old, but that's okay. They work, I think. Hey, Cybers, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good Monday. <clears throat> Beautiful. And we can kind of make this all a group and we can extend it out. Perfect. Let's color it because we don't want it to be that color. I think more like you were saying, more orange. Mm. Yeah, like that. And then we'll make a couple of them slightly lighter, slightly darker. So it's not all samey. That's too orange. Yeah, it's good enough for now. Like I said, we can always play with the colors later because that's it's a little too gray to match the um what's this called this this platform let's see i wonder if they'll actually be able to use this or not we'll have to we'll have to hit play and uh see if they can so i'll be curious to see see what they do with it oops of course not. I hate when it does that. Let's make it longer, because that way I don't have to fiddle with making it line up. Do, do, do. Perfect. So 
Sorry I came in late. You don't have to apologize ever. Good morning. I love foxes. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I was reading your name right. Hello, always lovely. My buildings in Planet Zoo got better with your channel, but after some time I got back to squared habitats with no decor because of being a perfectionist. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist too, and trust me, the amount of times that I build something and then like even on stream, I'll build something and then I go back later and I'm like, mm, no, I hate that. I don't like it and I change it. But that's what's good about Planet Zoo, right? Or any video game really is, you know, the, the delete button exists. And you can delete things and, and go back and change them if you want to. Yeah, that's that's what's awesome. And I, I personally have to remind myself of that all the time. Because I, I like I said, I uh, am notorious for like feeling pressure to build it correctly the first time. Um, but you definitely don't have to do that. Alright, we are going to just do it the difficult way and move these down because... It's not going to let me move it in the direction of the piece. Uh, a little bit more. I think that looks fine. I do kind of like it popping up through a little bit with this line. Um, sorry, you're late. No apologizing. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you're here and it's helpful. Watching the stream, whether you're chatting or lurking, Wherever you are, as long as you've got the stream on, it's incredibly helpful. So, no apologies needed at all. No apologies at all. Oh, there's baby birds outside. Do you know what kind of birds? Just little songbirds. I love when baby birds are outside my window. And then, what I kind of want to do... Now I'm kind of liking these poles better because they're all recolorable and whatnot because we can start to make like a, oh, actually, in fact, where'd it go? Oh, I didn't leave it over there. It's one of these. We can make kind of like a triangular thing. Cause these, some of these climbing structures are oftentimes just like chaotic pieces of wood strapped together. So that's kind of what we're going to go for. I really like this piece. I so wish we had it in a bunch of different colors. Like so. Yes. And then maybe on the other side, I want to make kind of like a area where we can connect another little um, piece coming across. And I wonder, is the rope big enough to go on this one? I think it might be, might be too big, but we'll see. Hopefully not, because then that would be cool. We could make it look like it was all tied together. Speaking of birds, I had one outside my window singing their little tune to wake you up. How cute! As long as they're waking you up at the right time. <laughs> They only bother me if they like miss my wake up time and are too early. And it's like, shush, I didn't set my alarm for that time. Come back later, please. But other than that, they are, they're very cute. Let's just make this a group. What am I doing? What am I doing? But how was your guys this week? Uh, I mean, I guess it's the start of the week. So how was last week? I had, like I said, my week was, was pretty busy. I was kind of thrown off because I had, I also had Friday off of work and I, for context, I normally work Monday through Friday. Um, so I had Friday off because I work Saturday, Sunday, and then I have today off and then I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and have Friday off. <laughs> so I am, I'm all over the place. And then I think... I have then, oh, that's right. I have um, Friday, Saturday off, and then I do work next Sunday as well. So all over the place with my schedule. I love that these ropes fit on here. It makes me very happy. I actually really like how that looks. <laughs> I really do. In fact, we could probably even use these poles for this over here.
Planet Zoo Brace Rounded is a nice flexi color piece that looks similar to the jetty pieces. Really? In construction? What did you call it? Planet Zoo Brace. Whoa, not an N. Brace Rounded. This? What is this? Why have I never seen this? I've never seen this piece before. Or is that, is that what this is? And it's just a different, why is it a different color? Why is it not, what's this? No, that's beam. What is this brace nonsense? Drew just blew my mind. <laughs> I've never seen this piece before. I like it. It's got more, it's got like more of the wood details on it. Oh, oh, they've just been in the game since beta. No big deal. <laughs> I've only missed them since forever. Okay, cool. Thank you. I've never seen that piece before. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand how I missed that. Let's see. Let's move this close-ish. Actually, maybe we move it. No, we want it close-ish. Because then we're going to take our handy dandy where to go. There it is. Oh, we don't want these part of this group. Thank you. Take our handy dandy new piece. Grab this. Thank you. No, I don't. That was the wrong one. I want you. Thank you. It's blown my mind. See? Always learning stuff new, though. People tell me that all the time. Like, it just started in Planet Zoo, and I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you build so... And you have to put into context how much time myself and other content, creator, content creators have sunk into this game. I was building terribly when I first started. And I do mean terribly. And Destiny, if you're in the chat, because I know you are, I don't mean the, the first builds that I put on YouTube, because those ones were at least good enough for me to uh, uh, think were okay to share with people. My first habitats were atrocious. Oh my gosh, JT Mazizzle? Mahizzle? Is that how you say it? I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that, but beautiful stuff, Savannah. Thank you so much. So, so much for the $5. That is amazing. All the love, all the bananas, please. I want to see lots of hearts, lots of nanas, lots of claps, whatever you want to put in there. Thank you so much, JT. That's awesome. That is awesome. So appreciate it. Hello again, Animal License. Welcome back. <laughs> I want to see the terrible build. Show us. Unfortunately, they've been lost. They've been lost to uh, the void because I built them on my laptop. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't actually know if they're lost. I haven't opened my laptop, my gaming laptop, since I stopped uh, using it. Or since I got my desktop, I haven't used it. So I actually honestly don't know what's still on there and what's not. Let's make this go this way. So I'll have to get on there and figure it out. Those pieces are not climbable. That's all right. We're in sandbox. <laughs> we don't care if they're usable. It looks pretty. We were in franchise. Maybe I'd care, but eh. Oh, you know what, though, Drew? That is awesome because speaking of franchise, I've been using the climbable pieces to, like, um, outline my barriers and things like that. And the animals do that weird clippy thing where they kind of like jump through it. This piece, if it's not climbable, is a fantastic option to do that with. That's great. I'll have to keep that in mind. God, Drew, you tell me I withhold information from you. What the hell, man? Where's this piece been? Since beta, didn't you know I've been looking for it? Whoops, whoa, not all that. Not all of our rocks. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's duplicate this. Bring this over. 
Barini, hello, how are you? <clears throat> Aren't they on a cloud? What do you mean on cloud? Who's on a cloud? You're only known for your dinosaur series? Oh, the ones that you uh, submit to Drew's uh, community showcase every week, right? I've seen those. They're very, very well done. I like that you do a different dinosaur each time. I think that's really clever. Let's... <clears throat> what if you take the climbing piece in it? What does that mean? Hey, Basic Builder, how are you? Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us today. You're not so late, Bold. 30 minutes is, like, fashionably late. <laughs> but welcome. Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing today on a Monday morning? You out with the horsies? You doing anything fun? I love your pictures of all the baby horses, by the way. I will never, I will never not want to see baby horse pictures. Love them. <gasps> MS Queen! I match and call. Show your cards. <laughs> That's a game I can get behind, MS Queen. <laughs> That's a game I can get behind. But thank you, MS Queen. That's awesome. Hearts, claps, bananas, everything. Love for MS Queen, as always. As always, you guys are fantastic. Fantastic. And if you guys are on my Discord, I actually bought myself, I treated myself, treated myself. I went way above and beyond my budget, but it was totally worth it because of your generosity last time. And I bought myself a fancy car. It may be the size of my finger or my hand. I don't know what the size of a Hot Wheel is, but it's a fancy car and it's on my desk right now. <laughs> That's right, Drew, T treat yourself. Treat yourself from Parks and Rec. It's exactly what I did. But I got myself a fancy Hot Wheels car so I can stare at it and remind myself that I can't actually afford the real thing. <laughs> but fancy car nonetheless. All because of you guys. Maybe I'll post a picture of it on Discord. Uh, it's staring at me right now. It's sitting on my desk. <laughs> oh, I love your Planet Zoo builds. Thank you so much. <sighs> we got the Lamborghini. We did, Primal. How could I say no to a blue-colored Lamborghini? See, now I gotta be careful because my my first initial thought is to add like a ton, but I gotta remember like the the gorillas, I forgot what animal we were dealing with, um, are big. Like, look at this guy. He is not gonna fit like through here, right? So we wanna be careful. So maybe as much as I like this new piece, we'll use it elsewhere. And we will use... Can I get one of these pieces to look nice? We'll use this piece. Uh, wow, money bags over here buying a car. Didn't you just buy a car, Drew? <laughs> not to flip the finger back at you, but didn't you not just buy like a real car? <laughs> uh, speaking of cars, man, has anybody bought tires recently? Because, oh my lord, my wallet hurts now. Like, speaking of, like, actual, real adulting things. I have had a nail in my tire for, like, six months now. But it was, it was lodged in a place where, like, it was holding air. It was holding air. Hi, Marta. You're Hannah? Welcome. Nice to have you in stream. Um, but then, you know, I was filling my tire up with air like every, every like month, every two months or so. Um, but then I filled it up this last time and it, it lost all of its air in like two days. And I was like, man, darn it. That means I actually do have to buy new tires. So I did. And holy cow. 
freaking expensive. $800 later and I have four new tires on my car. Now, granted, only one of them had a nail in it, but I had not bought, uh, or my tires were the factory tires from when I bought the car four and a half years ago and I have like 40,000 miles on my car. So they were bald, like bald. <laughs> and I only got away with it for so long because I live in San Diego and it doesn't ever really rain or snow or anything like that. So it's, it's really not that big of a deal, but <sighs> I don't like that. Yeah. $800 for tires. Get a new car for that. <laughs> Ridiculous. But they'll last like four more years, five more years, whatever. I won't have to spend it. I know that it was worth it. It was what I had to do because now my car is safe and all that stupid nonsense that you worry about. But I don't like that there. I'm trying to figure out how to like connect these two and I'm just not liking what I'm doing. Just not liking what I'm doing. But yeah, I was like going in there thinking like, oh, I'm going to spend like 500 bucks or something like that, you know, because tires are expensive, but $800. Holy cow. Yeah, you can't let your tires get bald from where you're from. Too much rain and snow. Exactly. That's the only reason I got, I got away with it, right? Because uh, um, otherwise, dead. <laughs> That's what you get when you let your tires go bald in, in Drew's state. Dead. Where am I going? I need one of these again. $800, congrats. Is that really congratulatory worthy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you really think about it, like, you know, cause then I'm, I'm telling this to like uh, Matt and my dad, I'm like, this is so expensive, who both drive trucks and they're like, shut up. My tires are like $1,000 or $1,200, you know, cause they have big truck tires. I was like, well, I don't, I don't have big truck tires and I don't want them to cost that much. But alas, what I want, the tire companies don't care about. So we're stuck with that. And I do have to keep in mind, so I have a, um, I have a Chevy Cruze hatchback but the package on it is the, the Premier RS package. So my tires are bigger. They're, um, they're 18 inch tires instead of 17 inch tires, which is what's normally on like uh, sedan type cars. So that also did play a, a role into it. And I knew that going in, I just, I didn't think it would make that much of a difference. Cause that, yeah, it's just a lot. So anyway, that's what I did on uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. And uh, realized right then, in that moment, I no longer wish to be an adult. <laughs> I do not wish to be an adult any longer, and I would like to be demoted back to a child. I don't even drive and that sounds terrifying. What, paying for tires? It is terrifying. Don't grow up. The only advice I have for you. Stay little, young. Yeah, same thing in Ohio. I mean, we just have a snowstorm in mid-April, so you have to be prepared. Yeah, exactly. People freak out if it mists here. Like I, so I did, um, I mentioned uh, last week, I did some special training for work, right? And so they brought in the company of people is from all over the place. And, um, one of the guys that did the training, he is from, he's from New Mexico. I think he was. And our training started at like eight in the morning. And I, I remember laughing at him because he was fascinated with fog because it gets the, uh, living in San Diego, especially where I live, I'm real close to the ocean and we get that marine layer in the morning and it gets really foggy in the morning and then it all clears off, you know, mid morning, 11 or 12, it's, it's all bright and shiny and sunny again. Um, but he was fascinated. He's like, what the heck is this? 
why is it so so like misty in the air and all that kind of stuff and it's like that yeah that's pretty funny i don't think about that because it's so normal to me do you think they could climb uh climb these if you sunk the climbing pieces inside i i don't know if these are climbable but honestly i mean i'm not too worried about it because um uh, I'm not too worried about it because uh, it's sandbox mode, so not worried. Yeah, hey, Marta, really happy to have you here, but just cool it on the uh, uh, repetitive chats. I am reading them, but I do apologize. They go by pretty fast, so I'm trying to get to everything all at once. Funny story, my mom and I visited the mountains for my birthday, and we had... We had a draining tire while going to a hotel at the top of a mountain. And when we were about to leave, it just lost all its air. That's a bummer. That's so my tire, I drove on it flat. I drove on it um, for a little bit until I actually had to replace it. Um, but again, that's because I drive, I drive six miles to work. <clears throat> Each day, six miles there, six miles back. It takes me 12 minutes to get to work. I have a pretty great commute. <laughs> um, so it's it's really not that dangerous. And I don't go on... Uh, uh, oh, thank you, Heather. Uh, I don't go on um, freeways or anything like that. I, I take all surface roads. Do we like that? Yeah, then they can come out. Then they can come out and like sit over here. Hopefully they can use those, right? I mean, I don't really care because again, it's sandbox mode, but hopefully if they can come out here and sit, maybe we'll put like an enrichment item on the edge. Really nice climbing stuff for the gorillas. Thank you. And the hard part is going to be, we are not going to um, just duplicate this over to the mandrel habitat. We are not going to be lazy. We are going to do a different climbing structure for them because I want it to look different. You don't go on freeways and you live in California? That sounds challenging. Yeah. So it's because um, I just work in the next town over. So I live um, in North County, San Diego. Um, and so I go through like neighborhoods and stuff to get to my my work because my where I work is kind of in the middle I actually work in um the middle of like a really expensive it's it's basically honestly the most expensive zip code in North County like I mean multi-million dollar homes like if you look on things like Redfin and stuff like that people are selling these homes for like 14 15 16 million dollars um, and my work is like right in the center of all those houses. I do not live in one of those houses. <laughs> Let me clarify. Uh, but that's, I work in the middle of them. And, um, so it's only six miles and it's just surface windy roads. I used to have to take the freeway when I lived a little bit further. Um, but yeah, now I don't, I don't have to take the freeway at all. Let's I think let's do go away. Do one of these to bring it over. Oh, you have to go. Thank you so much for stopping by, Planet Zoo Giraffe. Always happy to have you here. I hope you have a really good Monday, whatever you're doing, work or school or just hanging out. Hey, Janella, you can make it. Make it. I hope you didn't, uh, weren't too tired yesterday. Janella got up early for the stream and forgot that we were streaming today and not yesterday. I'm from Poland. Welcome. Matt's whole family is from Poland. Like, actually, I think, like, his grandfather? Like, actually from Poland. Yeah, they're all, they're all Polish. Oh, thought you said you won't take the freeway. No, no, no. I will take the freeway if I need to. Um, but I don't have to when I drive to work. <laughs> yeah, I take the freeway um, basically to go anywhere else. <laughs> if I'm going anywhere else besides work, I have to get on a freeway. Uh, hey, Guy Pratt, how are you? 
Gorillas don't climb much either, mostly the younger ones. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of wanting to use like these thicker logs and stuff like that because they'll just, they'll get up on these platforms and then this is mostly just for like decoration. I'll hang some ropes and stuff. Uh, that way it looks like they have something to like play with and, and climb on. But yeah, no, these guys um, are not gonna have, not gonna have um, a lot of climbing and stuff. Let's see, I think that one's pretty good. We can decorate these, like I said, with ropes and things. Um, let's see, cause now, where do I even wanna add some ropes? Thank you. Hi Coven, how are you? Good morning. I'm gonna take a drink of my smoothie. My uh, quitting coffee is going kind of poor. Today it's going really well because I didn't, I haven't had any coffee. <laughs> it was strange starting an hour later too because um, I like woke up and, and you know, normally have to kind of get up, get myself going and get on stream because on, uh, on Sundays, you know, I do wake up early, but I don't normally like to like really just jump out of bed. But this morning I woke up and was like, wow, I have... I have a whole lot of time <laughs> before I actually need to uh, actually need to be on stream. So, you know what? I don't. This is this is a temperate zoo, right? It's an old older zoo. I'm not going to go with what they necessarily want. I'm going to go with what is around because that's what a normal zoo would do. They don't necessarily have the exact plants that would be in the environment. So we'll do this. As long as they're not poisonous to the animals, which I have no idea and we're, we're not going to look it up, but ooh, and then, ooh, let's do, can we do one more of these? Let's see. How? I want to make one I want to make one that goes through it. I guess, should we just ball them all up at the top? Something like this. Yeah, then it's like through the tree. That kind of looks like a cluster. Maybe we get rid of this one. Yeah, that's better. And then we can extend, we can extend that one out. We can extend this one up a little bit. That's better. Move that up so it's in the middle. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. I like it a lot today. I might not like it a lot tomorrow, but we're going with it today. <laughs> My dad finished my bed upstairs and for the past five nights, skipping Friday, I have had a desk under it. I can play Planet Zoo on an actual desk. That's awesome. So you have like a little loft uh, bed, huh? When I was a kid, I had a bunk bed and um, I didn't share. Well, my sister and I shared a room for a while, but when I got a new, my own room, um, we still had the bunk bed, but I slept on the top bunk and I turned the bottom bunk into like a hangout area. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I start to like things better when we add trees. So we're gonna clear these filters and we're gonna look for uh, temperate things because we want it to match the biome we're in, not necessarily where the gorillas would be in the wild. Can you do a tutorial video about designing? You know what? I have really, I've thought hard about that and it is something that I wanna do. I just haven't I haven't quite wrapped my mind around exactly what I would do. Um, but I do, I do want to, I, I really am thinking hard about a, like, uh, building tips and tricks, like my personal building tips and tricks, I think is what I want to do. Um, but I, yeah, other than that, I'm not quite sure uh, about uh, about other tutorials. Uh, 
I don't know if you missed my message, but I was saying that your enclosure is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I, I do try very hard to get to uh, to all the the comments. And, and some of them I do honestly read, even if I don't respond to. So do keep that in mind as well. Is this a different tree? I feel like I've thought this is the same tree the whole time. Um. Oh, bye Destiny. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a good rest of your day, whatever you're doing. It looks amazing. Thank you, Who's Cutting the Onions. I still love your name. Who's Cutting the Onions? <laughs> you have a custom loft bed? That's awesome. Uh, hello, LMN. I, did you see, I responded to your comment about ratites uh, and chickens. Did you see that? So it was a good question. That was a good question. Yeah, I was talking about ratites uh, in my cassowary habitat build because that's what, that's what they are. You know, and I don't, I honestly don't want to put a whole lot of ground coverage, right? Because the gorillas would just eat it. But what's a good... That's a good, like, grr. well, maybe we can do a couple and we'll just pretend these are good gorillas because I can't not have any foliage in here. Yeah, LMN was asking, um, ratites is the classification for birds that uh, don't have a keel or a, a breastbone. So a breastbone in a bird is called a keel and ratites don't have them. So ratites are like emus, ostriches, cassowaries, things like that. Um, and they don't, they don't have a breastbone because the breastbone in birds is, is really strong and special because it's where, um, it's where their, a lot of their muscles attach for their wings and things like that. Um, so birds that don't fly, so cassowaries, ostriches, uh, kiwis, um, don't have a keel and therefore have their own little classification. And that's what LMN was asking. He was asking if chickens, uh, he or she, they, were asking if chickens have, uh, or were known as ratites. And they are not, because chickens, although they don't like, they don't fly like, like parrots fly, they can get some sort of lift um, and kind of get off the ground. I was dealing with them yesterday at work. They kept trying to jump out of the uh, little enclosure thing. I was trying to have them in so people could see them. And they kept jumping up on the, it was like a four foot tall little pen. And they kept like flapping their wings and jumping up to the top. <laughs> see you later, basic. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have fun at work. I'm not jealous. I'm very happy to be off work today. <laughs> All right. What are we thinking? I don't want to overcomplicate it. I really, I really don't want to overcomplicate uh, their enclosure, but I do kind of want to make this more grass in the back and maybe long grass. Are they going to get mad at me if I put long grass back here? Yeah, the, um, the gorilla enclosure at the San Diego Zoo is really pretty. They have um, a lot of rocks, but it's a lot of grass and stuff so that the, the monkeys have have stuff to run around on, but it's a lot, um, it's a lot of open space, you know, not a lot of, they have a big, they have like one big climbing structure, but it's not, it's not huge. Um, hey, I wasn't on stream when you started. Could you show the entrance to the habitats? I always have problems to hide it and work at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I have something in my throat. Um, the entrances are back here. So they're like completely hidden in the back wall. And then these are just little door facades. There's just like the little decorative door from the construction pieces. They just kind of sunk in there. Um, but that's how I hid those. Um, and then I kind of put the climbing structure in here because as best I can in all my habitats, I try to hide where the keepers come in and out a little bit. Um, all right, let's add, let's add some ropes. Ropes. Longest recorded flight of a chicken is nine seconds. <laughs> Is that real? That's funny. <laughs> they're not very coordinated animals at all. They're, they're, they're somewhat smart. Like they can be trained. I've worked with our chickens uh, at work to do like some, some training things. 
Uh, but that's funny, nine seconds. Chicken wings are actually massive compared to emus and ostriches. Yeah, so emus and ostriches have these tiny, useless wings. Like if you, I mentioned that in my video too. If you look at them, they're like the funniest looking things. Cause you're like, why do you even have these? <laughs> what is the purpose? I mean, I know they did have a purpose a while ago, but, um, or like evolutionarily wise, evolutionarily. I don't think that's a word, but you guys know what I mean. Um, but yeah, <laughs> chickens, uh, the ones that, that I work with, um, they, they try, they try to escape and, you know, fly, but they're, they're just not, not capable. We've bred them to be, uh, too fat, to be honest. Uh, a lot of the chickens that, that are domesticated now are raised either, you know, for egg laying or also for meat and they're raised to be too fat. And so they are not able to fly. How did you become so good at designing in the game? Honestly, just lots of practice. And I know it sounds... It sounds annoying because when people ask me that, they're like, how do you get so good? And I tell them, just practice. They're like, but I can't. But you can, you you really can. And it just, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of patience. But I, that is a question that I'm, I'm getting asked more and more frequently now that, um, now that we're getting more uh, new eyes on the channel and things, that is too big. Um, but it, it is, it's just lots of practice. Lots of practice. So I'm gonna change the song. Let's go down to here, change it to this song. There we go. Um, and just seeing what works. And I'm a, I'm a totally visual person. Like I have to put something down before I know that I hate it. Um, because if I, if I don't put it down, I can't quite picture it in my head. So I have to like put it down and see uh, if I hate it, if I don't, you know, try different things. And a lot of times I will try concepts that I have in my head before I actually uh, start recording. So I'll open a map um, if I'm working in a specific zoo. Like, so for instance, say I was trying to work in Sakura Zoo and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a habitat for the gazelle and I kind of want to do uh, this. I will open a blank map, kind of sort of do like a preliminary, like, is this going to work or not? And if it doesn't work, great, then I, I don't build it. If it does work, then I go ahead and move over into the zoo and, uh, and try it. Like try to actually build it. So it's, it's a lot of trial error, a lot of patience. Yeah, and so now after lots of practice, I've kind of gotten better at knowing what will and won't work because you you start to recognize the pieces and stuff. I mean, I say that as Drew pointed out a piece that I should have known existed. Um, but you start to know like what pieces are available, what you can and can't do with them, all that kind of stuff. That's okay. Is it uh, uh, shock, 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 shock? Ah, I can't say your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> shacks, shacks. Yeah, my my voice doesn't work that way. But it's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, or don't have to be sorry uh, that you're late. You're here. It's all that matters. And I'm so sorry that I am so atrocious at pronouncing things. I'm terrible. Terrible, terrible. You're better at Planet Zoo, thanks to me. Aw, that's sweet. And uh, that's another thing. I watched a ton of Planet Zoo content before I even ever started playing. Um, I bought the game right when it, it released, but I didn't really like super get into it uh, for a few months after that. And uh, so watching, watching content, watching other people build, definitely helps definitely helps like and I still even watch I watch a whole bunch of people I watch Drew and Estan and Rudy and the lady and and basic and uh, lion rider and leaf I watch so many different people um, to get ideas and honestly I mean 
everybody in the community that I've talked to slash met are such friendly people. If you copy something they're doing, and this goes for me as well, if you copy something that I'm doing, I am never going to get upset unless you copy it and say like, look what I built, you know, out of my own brain and came up with by myself. But if you say like, you know, look what I did and I saw, you know, I saw Savannah do something like this. I saw Drew do something like this. I never get upset at that. I'm excited about because a lot of times you guys will take things that I'm doing and and put your own different spin on it. And that's perfect. That's exactly what creativity should be like. It's exactly what creativity should be like. I don't know if I like how mirrored that looks right there. Let's move this. Hi, Jojo, you didn't miss much. We're placing, we're placing ropes now, two at least. Trying to figure out where they, where they fit best. I'm like all, there we go. I'm all confused. My perspective was off. I couldn't understand how this rope was laying. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There, that looks better, I think. Ah, uh, thinks, ah, uh, thinks. Yeah, just some ropes here and there to make it look like they have something to play with. Do you feel like you have more or less creativity or struggle more when doing smaller versus larger zoos? Smaller versus larger zoo doesn't really bother me because I don't sit down and plan out my zoo uh, before I start building, if that makes sense. So like, I don't, I don't sit down and say like, okay, my entrance is going to be here. I'm going to have gazelles over here. I'm going to have lions over here. I don't do that. I start maybe with an entrance. Um, some of my, my builds haven't even started with an entrance, like my whole zoos. Uh, but I'll start with that. And then I'll say like, okay, this space right here is open. Let's design this shape habitat. And then I kind of treat it like a puzzle kind of. So smaller versus larger zoos don't intimidate me uh, or aren't difficult for me um, creativity wise. Smaller versus larger habitats are a different story because smaller habitats are far easier to make look detailed because you have less space to fill up. Larger habitats, you have to fill up uh, a good amount more space depending on how much larger it is. Um, and so that is something that challenges me, uh, is larger versus smaller habitats. That's a GG2, gotta have outside influence. Yeah, definitely. And I look at Google and Pinterest constantly. Constantly. I was looking at Google and Pinterest, whoops. I was looking at Google and Pinterest, uh, last night for climbing structures because I can't picture a primate climbing structure off the top of my head. I mean, the only one I can kind of picture off the top of my head is a couple at the San Diego Zoo, and that's only because I've been there so much. So I definitely had to do some, some Googling, some looking. And yeah, don't be afraid to use reference pictures. It's, I have never, nobody's ever told me once, like, I don't like that habitat because it looks like this place in real life. That's not a thing. People don't say that. That looks that looks too much like the the one building that I saw. So use use references. Use pictures. They're there to help. Hello Emma, how are you? Good morning. I can't believe it's already been an hour. Has it really? Goodness. We got to end on time, you guys. We are we're raiding Drew today. We're going to make it happen. And we can't be late. We have to show up to his stream right on time and then scream at him. <laughs> That's our plan, okay? Uh, at first, it was really hard on myself with building and creativity, but I kept watching channels like yours and finding reference photos, and now I'm much better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what you have to do, is just keep at it. Keep at it. Thank you for the stream today. I hope work was good yesterday. It was. So it was like a, um, we're doing like a springtime event. Uh, for kids, because uh, that's what I do. I work with animals, but all the animals that I work with are 
uh, animal ambassadors. So they work with kids. So I work with their training and stuff to make sure that they're going to be, you know, polite to the people. <laughs> they have to be well behaved so that kids can hang out with them and pet them and hold them and stuff like that. Um, but we had, we had a Easter, well, it's not Easter. It's just spring E uh, event yesterday. So that's what I was working. And um, where it's one weekend in March, April, and May. So yesterday, uh, this last weekend was the April event. And then May um, will be like, I think it's the last weekend in May, something like that. Um, so I'll be working that one too. That's what I did. Welcome back, Gaming Hyena. Where's his stream? On his YouTube channel. We will, um, we'll link it at the very end. Promise. That way you can just click on it and we can go over there. Ah. Link it and then we can go over there and bug him. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Heather. Yeah. Don't go over there yet because he's not there. You can go over there and stare at a blank screen, but I'd prefer you stay over here until... <laughs> until the end, uh, you know, as selfish as I am, but, uh, we will definitely head over there towards the very end, uh, when we're all wrapped up. Let's see, let's do that, I think looks okay. I just, I, we really don't want it to look the same. We want it to look different. Bugging Drew sounds great. Yeah, exactly. It's a beautiful plan. It's a beautiful, beautiful plan. So we'll take this. We will take this one and kind of utilize this because I can kind of rotate it and make it not look so samesy. Let's put it over here and we'll kind of build off of it too, I think. That is not in the ground. <laughs> ah, that's problematic. There we go. I love seeing how people express their art through Planet Zoo. It's so cool. Yeah, it really is. And hi, Carly. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I saw you come in. You've got an obligation to do that now. That's right. Tell him I gave you permission. If he says, you know what, Cybris, you're being too annoying. Get out. Say, you know what? I'm just doing what I was told. Savannah told me to come over here and told me to be as obnoxious as humanly possible. And then I guess he'll have to be okay with it because we won't leave. <laughs> uh, the furry banana bunch. The furry? Furry banana bunch? What's a furry banana bunch? But yes, the banana bunch going over to bother Drew. I, by the way, have been working on, and by I, I mean um, with somebody's help, have been working on some uh, emojis for you guys. And I actually, I totally forgot. I wanted to ask you, what emojis would you use in chat uh, for members? So I was thinking of doing one that was just like a general like love for things like, you know, things like donations or new members or stuff like that. So like, like a love one. Um, and then doing like a hype or excited one. Um, and then I kind of want to do a cute one because I say that word so often and you guys are fantastic at pointing it out uh, <laughs> so that you guys can remind me every time I do that. Um, but then what else? What else would we use? Oh, Droof. How creative are you? That's actually a fantastic idea. I do have to be careful um, because we won't be streaming Planet Zoo all the time, but that's actually a wonderful idea, doing a donation bin from, from Planet Zoo. Yeah, that's really good. I'll play with that. I'll play with that a little bit and see what I can do. I'm not the best when it comes to Photoshop, which is why I say I'm having somebody's help. Oh, that's okay, Janella. You don't have to apologize at all. It is never expected, never expected. It's just an awesome surprise when it happens, but 
But um, yeah, you let your mom decide is the is the right choice for that. But just like I like I've always said, just being here is also supportive enough because it really helps out the stream. You guys, the way YouTube works, I don't know if you guys are even curious about this or not, but the way YouTube works and the way really any social media platform works is they want content to be engaging because uh, YouTube is a business, right? And the longer that you're on the platform, the more ads they can put in front of your face and then the more money they make. So just being here is telling YouTube that I'm making engaging content and therefore they should show it to people. Is I mean, that's the very basics of, of kind of how it works. Um, and YouTube's whole goal is to keep you on this platform as long as they can. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. A cute lion emoji. That could be cute. Yeah, I was toying with the idea of, of making everything like banana themed, but I also like, <laughs> banana is really only our, I guess, quote unquote mascot because it rhymes with my name. It's not like I love bananas. <laughs> that could be the quote of the stream. It's not like I love bananas, uh, but it's just because it rhymes. And uh, uh, so that's where I was trying to think about uh, different things that we could do. Now, can I take this? and put it somewhere. <laughs> what? Did I ruin the, uh, what's it called? Did I like ruin the idea by saying I don't love bananas? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll eat bananas. Uh, they're good fruit, but this conversation's getting strange. Uh, but it's not like, it's not like they're my favorite food or anything like that. Let's do this right here, I think. Yes. Uh, let's move it back a little bit. There we go. That way it kind of, it'll go down onto the other onto the other level. There we go. That's cool, right? How dare Savannah? Oh, I'm sorry, I ruined it for you guys. <laughs> I crushed everyone's dream in just one sentence. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's okay, go back. Pretend. Pretend. Bananas are my favorite fruit. I take it all back. I'm so sorry <laughs> for saying such awful things. Um, I don't really want another platform, but I do kind of want this part of it. I take it all back. I was just kidding. I didn't mean it. Let's go this way. Yes. There we go. I did say we were going to give them like a shelter thing, huh? I guess they have underneath here. You know what we'll do? This is what we'll do is we'll put, we'll put little doors back here that make it look like, like they're going to be either off exhibit or on exhibit. Because the thing is, is with a lot of different enclosures, uh, at real zoos, you know, they kind of rotate their animals when they're out. Um, because when you have an animal like out in front of people, excuse me, um, you know, it, they can only be out in front of people for so long before they start to get stressed and things. So they'll take them back and put them in their, their, uh, shelters. Hey, Leaf, how are you? Now you just want a banana. Hi, Troy. I don't think I said hi to you specifically yet. Thanks for stopping by. And hi, Emily. I don't like bananas. The texture makes you gag. Yeah, Leaf is here. Leaf pops in every once in a while, and Leaf is a fantastic member of the Banana Bunch. Wonderful supporter of the channel. We love having Leaf here. And Leaf is one of the content creators I was saying earlier that I do watch and makes amazing things. The things that they build are just 
phenomenal. Um, I got so excited about this piece here, and now I realize we haven't used it yet. Should we? Because I'm almost wondering, that's like, sometimes that's like enough. That's like what they have in the habitat, right? I'm just trying to think. Um, I want to add some more little bushes and things. And we're just going to ignore the fact that I know the monkeys would rip this to pieces. They would go to town. Ripping all the leaves and stuff off these bushes. But they look pretty, so... I think we're going to leave them. Hey, we're going to bug Drew after the stream. That's right, Leaf. We're raiding Drew after this stream is over. Because he's supposed to start, like, right as soon as we're done. I don't like that tree's too big. Yeah, in about in about 40 minutes we're going over there to bug the crap out of him. Your creativity trick is just to put some props on the ground and see where you can put it. What do you mean? Like the climbing structure? I mean, that's more or less what climbing structures are, right? Is they're just they're just a bunch of logs and whatnot that the monkeys climb all over. We can always go back, but I'm feeling like I want to do some I want to do some tree things. Is this still on temperate? It is. No, those do not fit the aesthetic I'm going for at all. Um I like these trees to be honest. I really do like the eucalyptus trees. That one's too big, but maybe this one is not bad. If we do something like this. That doesn't look bad, right? I mean, I know it's currently growing out of rocks, but... We'll put bushes at the bottom and then you'll never know that... Then you'll never know that they're uh, growing out of rocks. Something like that. I like that. Gives it a little bit of difference, right? Variation, I guess, is the word I'm thinking of. Leaf is famous in this stream. <laughs> hey, thanks. You've been a big inspiration into uh, jumping back into Planet Zoo and starting to build again. And Leaf's mods. Yeah, Leaf does some amazing mods. I don't personally play with mods, but I've always said it's... It, I do not have anything against mods. I think mods can definitely add something interesting uh, to a game, right? They can they can bring so much more to a game, especially if it's something like the community wants. Um, and Leaf makes amazing mods. I just personally don't... I don't play with mods. But not because I have anything against them. Should we not put that tree there? Because technically that's like the path for people to get down. <laughs> Maybe we can put it up over here so it's like out of the habitat but still decorative, right? Now that looks good over there, I think. Uh, hey, Erin. I'm in school right now so my volume is on mute, but hi. Well, you can't hear me, but hi. <laughs> Pay attention in school though. Don't let us distract you too much. School's important. I spent way too long going to school, but it's important. Will the gorillas use the hammock? <gasps> That's a very good question. That is a very good question. Let's go see. I totally, totally forgot about that. Um, it's toy, right? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they'll use it. That's a bummer. That's a real big bummer. Let's see. Will the mandrill? Because they would be perfect for the hammock, right? Nope, mandrill won't either. That's a bummer. Good thought, though. Really good thought. Hey, Nathan Eck, how are you? Thanks for stopping by the steam. Steam. Stream! <laughs> Thanks for stopping by the stream. You can always hide a tree rock connection with some small bushes. Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. That's exactly what we do. No, Leaf, shut up. Your your mods are not poo-poo. <laughs> your mods are just fine. 
uh, Yulu cats, hello. Glad to hear you're doing good. Let's take this. We will hide. Hide it. It's not growing out of a um, rock, I promise. It's growing out of some dirt, just like those bushes are. Perfect. Put another one, like, right here. Ooh, I'm liking this habitat more and more, you guys. Not that I wasn't before, but I, I tell ya, until I add trees, I'm never convinced that what I'm building is gonna turn out okay. Never. I always think it's gonna be terrible until I add until I add the trees. Put that there. Combine that there. Maybe we'll do a little bush right here. How's my Monday? It's going really well. I was actually really excited to stream. I didn't realize how much um, I would I would miss it. Like not streaming yesterday, my day was kind of like thrown off. While I was at work, a couple times I thought like, man, I would be talking to you guys right now. So I'm excited to be streaming. I'm excited to be streaming because I have a ton of fun with it. And I didn't, I, I knew I was gonna have fun with it when I first started, but I didn't think I would have as much fun with it as I'm having now. <sighs> you guys, I am liking this. Not to, uh, not to toot my own horn, but I am, I'm really enjoying this habitat. Really am. I guess we could have used something like this too, huh? It doesn't really fit the aesthetic anymore though. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of some of this stuff over here. Whoa, not the whole habitat, thanks. You don't even know how to download Planet Zoo mods. There's a bunch of tutorials out. You can go check them out. If you just Google it on YouTube, um, a, a few different people have made uh, tutorials on how to do that. You can figure it out. Uh, the trees just built different, that's all? What do you mean? Uh, well, I'll go now and think about creating a unicorn statue. We'll see you later. Thanks for, for stopping by on the stream. All right, what should we do now? I do need to add a few more rocks. I know we added a, a ton of rocks last time, but... Oops. I need to kind of fill in this little gap here. Let's do it with something like this. There we go. And then make sure that it doesn't look like it's just flat. And then move that tree back a little bit because it's kind of just like hanging off the edge. <laughs> there we go. Now it's in the dirt. Can I ask what software you use for streaming and recordings? Absolutely, I'm using OBS right now and I record and stream with OBS and then I um, uh, edit videos with uh, Premiere Pro. And that's only because Premiere Pro, before I started making content, because there, there are free options like DaVinci Resolve, I think it's called. Um, that you can, you can edit videos with, but, excuse me, um, I already knew how to use Adobe features, Adobe programs rather, because of work. Um, so I just, I just used, uh, used Adobe stuff because I, I already knew how to use it. More rocks, yep, more rocks. I told you we weren't done with the rocks. I said we were just taking a break. I warned you. I warned you that more rocks were coming. Rocks are a great way to add like interest to a habitat without overdoing the foliage count, especially if you're playing in like franchise um, or something where foliage matters. The other thing that I wanna do is let's see if we can't, um, let's see if we can't change this. Is it gonna freak out at me? Oh, 
Oh, no, it's not. Okay, great. I was going to say, change this to... Whoa, why are we all curvy? I don't really want you to be curvy. Uh, change it to the electric fence because... Um, the monkeys, in reality, would kind of just hop right over this. So, we want to make sure that they don't do that. So, I kind of just want to put this up. Oops. Up here. And then we'll perfect that later. Because I'll, I'll kind of make it so it's not so jagged. And, like, maybe I'll do it now. Do it now because we're thinking about it. Um, yeah, there's a ton of flamingo mods. I saw that. Leaf went crazy with the flamingos. <laughs> they all look great, by the way. I was looking at them. Why are we... What setting do I have on that it's uh, making it, like, curved? How did that perimeter... Curved... I don't want curved barrier top. I want flat barrier top. So you know what? Let's do this. S start over. When it's being difficult, I know. Freak out. Two habitats have merged. Oh no. Let's do this. Start it there. And then we'll just do this. That way we can make it follow the rocks nice, too. Now, why? Oh, it's, you know, it's because of this. It's because it's too short. It's too close. Um, can we move you to here? There we go. And then change this one to that. Sorry, guys, I got kind of quiet there because I was, I was thinking. <laughs> Took a lot of focus. Took a lot of focus to do that. Okay, so now we can lower these down so they're not, like, ginormous because we don't need, we don't need, like, dinosaur level security for these guys. Let's move you. Let's move you for a minute. Please just go somewhere. Thank you. There we go. Make sure it ups the level there. There we go. We'll get it eventually. My favorite mod, I think, is the Quagga, because I always fascinated with them. I don't know if I know what that is. I don't know if I know what a, a Quagga... Am I saying it right? Quagga? I don't know if I've ever heard of that animal before, to be honest. Whoops. Don't want that over there. Ugh. In more stressful news, you guys, you want to hear something stressful? It's not really stressful. <laughs> it's not super stressful, but I found a gray hair this morning. Actually, I found like five gray hairs this morning. <laughs> and I don't know what to think about it because I'm not old. And my parents didn't go gray really quickly. But yeah, I found, I found a gray hair. And, uh, I don't, I don't know. Or five gray hairs, like I said. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, I'm not going to do anything about it, because, I mean, in reality, it's not a big issue. But, I was very surprised. Because I have, um, I have, like, dark brown hair. And, um, so they kind of stood out. And I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Stress is a killer. Yeah. I was like, what, what, what? Excuse me. This isn't supposed to be happening. Oops. Up, up, up. There we go. You have a gray streak. Like Rogue from X-Man. Rocket. Well, see, but mine... Mine's not a streak. Mine's like like five hairs that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> it's, 
It's not like, and, and they're like underneath like under underneath the rest of my hair. So you can't even really see them. So there's no point to having them there. So I don't understand what they're doing or what they, what they think they're doing. Are these habitats complete now? I think so. Yeah, see, so then that makes it look like they can't actually get over the top there. That was a lot of work for uh, a little effort or a lot of effort for a little... Result? Is that the saying? Sometimes hairs just lose pigment. It's really no biggie. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I just, I'd never actually found a gray hair on myself before. Um, I'd never, yeah, I just never found it. So I was like, what? <sighs> Go away. <laughs> Go away, gray hairs. Zebras with horse bodies, but not in Okapi. Is that what that quagga animal is that you were talking about? Zebras with horse bodies. Field trip. You know what? I'm curious. Field trip time. Let's see. What is a quagga? Oh. So it's a, it is a zebra. It's a subspecies of the plains zebra that's endemic to South Africa until it was hunted to extinction. So I didn't know they were extinct. That's why I haven't heard of them. Oh, they're cool looking. Cool. But yeah, they do. They kind of look like zebras, but it, like their stripes don't go, don't go, um, don't go all over like this, right? That's what you're talking about. Cool. I learned about a new animal. That is pretty fascinating. Um, you've had some gray strands since you were in your 30s? That's pretty early. Sorry, guys, I'm stretching. <laughs> it always sounds pretty awkward when I stretch. Uh, I'm 29 and I have at least four strands. Four? I found five. I started getting my gray when you were 16. That's really early. And also, hello, Shiris. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Shiris. I don't think I said hi to you. Hair dyed to the rescue. You know, what's funny is I used to color my hair all the time, especially when I was in high school. And I was really bad. I colored it like every couple weeks or so, which don't do, by the way, kills your hair. But I haven't actually colored my hair, um, like five years, I think. The quagga was a subspecies of the plain zebra that was endemic. Yeah, exactly. That's what, exactly what I just read. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do with this habitat right now, because climbing structures is really all I had kind of decided on. without adding too many more rocks because <laughs> obviously obviously we still need rocks cap off this corner I think is a good idea and then I want to do some sort of like shading structure for the guests I mean not not really shade structure maybe but um yeah I guess shade structure and I kind of want to do like a um a wall right here or maybe a wall right there with benching and stuff so that like this is the main path you walk through and then like you go off to go look at the monkeys over here right because that's really common um, let's color these correctly great thank you awesome there's a quagga project because some of the genes are still in present day zebra. So trying to selectively breed. Wow. Yeah, they're they're doing a lot of that, right? A lot of trying to get um, extinct animals back. Um, it's like real Jurassic shit. Jurassic Park stuff. Goodness. Jurassic Park stuff. Um, and it's just, it's incredibly fascinating to me that they can actually even think about doing stuff like that. 
You're watching and having dinner. I hope you're having a really good dinner. What are you eating? I'm actually not hungry this stream, you guys. Because I ate a pretzel. Jamba Juice has really good apple cinnamon soft pretzels. They're very, very good. So I ate that. So I am, I am not, uh, I am not hungry for once in my life while streaming. Should we just add? See, I'm like, I'm torn because I love how simple these look, but I also want to add, I want to add more trees. Maybe we add more trees behind, right? Because it would be, that's how it would be in real life. So if we add like a tree here. Oh, and building, right? We want to do a building back here. What? Let's see. We made this out of the corrugated sides. I think I might want to continue with that. And do a corrugated building back here. But I don't know... I don't know what I want it to look like. I kind of know, whoops, I kind of know that I want it to stick up. I want it to stick up above the rock so that you see it, right? So that it kind of gives it like a backdrop, but I don't know exactly what I want it to look like. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome to watch, but if, if we don't mind, we do want to keep the chat to English. Yeah, we always want to keep the chat to English, and I'm so sorry. It's only because I, I can't read anything else. <laughs> but I'm super appreciative to have you here. You're welcome welcome to hang out and watch, but let's just keep the, the chat to English, please. I think you should have, like, a little shelter over the break-off so it's more of a secluded area. You mean, like, right here? Like a shelter? We could do... You know what we could do is let's do... Um, more rocks, but let's, if we do this kind of thing and make kind of a wall, like I was talking about, so like hiding the keeper area, but if it kind of just does like this kind of thing. Um, like that. Kind of, sorta. That monkey's gonna get buried in rocks. Sorry. Uh, we are building Lovro in Sakura Zoo. Um, so this is like the under budget zoo that I have going on. Um, and that's why there's so many rocks. <laughs> because it is supposed to be like an under budget that looks okay, right? It gives a little bit of a break in between. No! Read my fun fact. I learned uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, combat. Scientists believe a function of zebra stripes is to deter insects. So researchers painted a cow with stripes and it reduced the number of uh, biting flies by 50%. Yeah, I've read that study. So zebra stripes are a dual adaptation for them. So an adaptation is something that helps an animal survive, something they have that, that helps them in the wild, right? Um, so zebra stripes help with camouflage. Uh, it helps break up the uh, shape of a zebra in herds specifically. So if you have a single zebra out on the plains, the stripes don't do anything. But what the stripes do in a herd setting is kind of break up the difference between one zebra and the next. And predators have a hard time locking on to which pre uh, which prey animal they're actually going to go for. But they also did find that zebra stripes help... Um, deter flies. Something about the stripes, the black and white, the flies don't like it. So it, it helps for fly protection as well. Yeah, I definitely, I did know that. And that's why they sell, um, they'll actually sell like horse blankets with zebra stripes on them as like, or, or fly sheets with zebra stripes on them, um, to, to deter flies as well. I think it's really weird why flies don't, you know, why they don't like the stripes, but eh. Flies are weird animals to begin with. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Looks pretty. Thank you. Uh, I agree with the exception of the thylacine. I want desperately to bring those back. 
Yeah, well, I mean, the thylazine, something that was really interesting that we talked about in um, conservation biology when I, when I took that class was that, you know, these animals are presumed extinct, but it only takes one sighting uh, to prove that theory wrong, right? So like, for example, the thylacine, there are reported sightings every year, a bunch of them, um, but they've never had any that could be corroborated or, or proven right, right? They've never actually like had a live thylacine be captured or photographed or anything like that, but people still say that they see them all the time. It's kind of like Bigfoot. Although, I mean, Bigfoot's, I don't think, a proven species, but I want to put something there, but I don't know what. Um, but yeah, so it only, it only takes one sighting to prove, prove an extinction theory wrong. That is a huge tree. That is not what I want. <sighs> Zebras become a magic eye poster for predators and pest magic eye poster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just confuses them. They can't tell. Um, it's kind of like I talked about it in my, um, tapir habitat, right? Where the, um, the Malayan tapirs have black and white patterns, but that's to break up their body in the light that shines through the tree canopy in the rainforests. So that's what their camouflage is for. And then if you look at baby tapirs, they're spotted and stuff because it looks like the little bits of light that would come through um, on the forest floor. is That's why they're kind of um, patterned the way that they are. Yeah, camouflage is really interesting. Animals have a whole bunch of different types of camouflage. So it's really, really interesting. Animals are interesting, can't you tell? Hey, Silver Fox, thanks for joining us. How's your Monday morning? You love Bigfoot? <laughs> Yeah, we are, uh, Silver Fox. We're gonna go raid Drew after we're done here in about 15 minutes. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go bug him. Gonna go bug him. He deserves some good bugging. Estan's been kinda MIA for a while, so Drew hasn't really been bugged quite as much as he should be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, again, I feel so bad adding all these plants, so I just wanna go back to adding rocks. Because, uh, that is, that's what you'd see in these habitats, right? You'd see rocks. <laughs> yeah, Estan went on vacation without us. He's taken some really good pictures though of like of the stuff he's been seeing and I'm I'm sure he's going to come back with a whole ton of inspiration. He's going to come back with some crazy idea that he's going to somehow make work. I don't understand how he does it, but he'll do it. But yeah, he he just hasn't been bugging Drew enough. So, we're going to we're going to step up. There's a there's an opening in in pestering Drew, so we're going to fill it. We're gonna fill it. We're gonna go make sure he he knows that he's not safe. <laughs> that there's more people out there that'll bug him. Put that there. Okapi used to be a cryptic, uh, unconfirmed, a cryptid, cryptid, unconfirmed animal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And a lot of them are. Where like when you have a sighting, but you don't, uh, you don't have like like good proof, good photos, or, or actually have one in captivity. Um, yeah, it's just, you, you just don't know until you know, right? And so that's, that's a lot of science is you, you have no idea until, until you know, until something is proven right or proven wrong. Let's bring this out so we can have another, another branch. That's why I think science is so fascinating. Quite right. Yeah, that looks better.
Thank you, Silver Fox. I am, I'm quite happy with how this came out. Quite happy with how that came out. Or is coming out, rather, because we're not totally done yet. I still want to do some guest stuff and, and do the back building. But I'll honestly probably finish that up. Uh, let's hit play and see what these guys can actually do. Oh, shush. Did I not complete it? I think, yeah, right here is is not connected. Or is it? There we go. There, are you happy now? Relax, stop yelling at me. So let's check the gorillas, let's see what they can do. Oh, can they not go on these? Why? Wow, it says that they can get, <laughs> they can climb this teeny tiny rope, but apparently they can't get up on these platforms. That's a bummer. I wonder, I wonder if we do this. Let's see if we can't sink some um, some of this in there and see if they won't use it. Like that. Um, the problem is, is I don't want it to be seen like that. So maybe if we use, we use the smaller ones. This is annoying. Let's do this then. And do it the hard way. Do this. Do this. Actually, I'm dumb. I should do this above the thing so I can actually see where I'm placing things. But then maybe, maybe they'll be able to use it and sit out on these platforms, because that's what I want them to do. I want them to be able to sit out on these platforms. I know I said I didn't care about them, like, climbing all the different pieces, and I don't care really about that, but I really wanted them to come sit out on these platforms. So let's see if they'll do that. Will they be able to, uh... Whoa, big jump. No? I'll have to play with that later. But that's good. What about you guys? Um, watching PZ builds is hand down, hands down the most chill study break. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yeah. See, they can use it. Maybe the gorillas are just too big. Maybe I'll try... Does the female have a different... Um, what's it called? Different traversable area? Yeah, see, the female does. Oh, but they can't use this one. But because they don't have they don't have a handy dandy bridge. Let's see. Handy dandy bridge. Like that. There. Can you use it now? Yes, now you can use it. It's just him. Oh, now he can use it. Okay, great. And he can use this one. What was it? What was its problem before? Weird. Okay. Well, now they can come out. That's great. Use the arbor. Oh, I didn't think about that. That feeding platform. Yeah, I could do that. Let's go ahead and look at some um, habitat stuff for them. Who do I have selected here? I think it's the mandrills that I have selected. Um. Yeah, mandrills. So let's go over to these guys and figure out where. Where are we going to put some toys and things? Let's go ahead and, and sink some of these down because they're easy. They're just kind of throw down, right? Boxes and stuff everywhere is what you would normally have. Oh, box is going to fall all the way down. I don't like that one. Let's do another plastic or another cardboard box. Uh... <laughs> you love to learn? I love to learn too. Yeah, I really love learning. I love learning new things all the time. Let's go ahead and put this right here, I think. And maybe... Maybe this back here, I think. So that they'll sit back there and use it. 
That is not what I wanted, thank you. Sometimes it makes the terrain go way too crazy. There we go. Hi, Totter, how are you? Anybody remember PK Alpha? I actually have still been building in PK. I have something um, that I'm just finishing up and hopefully will get out sometime soon. But yeah, it, you know, the alpha build, or the alpha um, of, of PK kind of, it, it was a lot of fun and it's interesting for people to see, but not a lot of people got the, the alpha itself. So you had a whole bunch of like uh, people wanting to play, but not a whole bunch of people got their hands on it. So, but they're looking to do beta sometime soon. So hopefully we'll get that, get that sooner rather than later. One of my favorite things about your channel is all the animal facts. Well, thank you. That actually means a whole lot to me because um, conservation and, and animals and stuff like that is a huge passion of mine. I mean, it's what I do um, for work and, you know, education specifically is what I do for work. So I, I really have a passion for, for teaching and, and talking about these these animals because that's how we're going we're gonna to be able to make a difference and save them is by learning about them. And uh, nobody wants to fight for things they don't care about. So by learning about them, hopefully I can get you guys to care about some of them. And, uh, and then we can, we can make a difference. What is this? That's right. I've never built... <laughs> wow, this is a stream of like things I never knew existed. Um, I've never built for the gorillas, right? So I've never seen this, uh, this enrichment item. So we'll put that there because that's pretty cool. I like that it comes with, like, little plants. And then this one I've obviously seen before. Um, maybe we put it down here? Uh, I don't like that there. I don't like that there. Maybe we'll leave that one out because I like, I like how that looks. Let's go back to toys. Let's give you a toy. There. He's, like, flying through this habitat. Mm. Let's see, what else? A ball. Yeah, just stuff like this is like stuff that I would see in habitats. I don't like the ball. Okay, great. Awesome, well we only have six minutes left. Let's go ahead and hang out with some of our animals and, and chit chat. I'll, uh, I'll, focus on, I'll focus on chat and we can follow our big male here. Look at that flying jump, my goodness. I don't know why you can't just walk down it, but you know, flying is better, I guess. I learned white rhinos are actually called wide rhinos. What do you think is the next DLC? You know, um, Sumner, I, I don't know. I have hopes for what it is, but I have no idea. I have no guesses on what the next DLC might be. Can I ask what your job is and work exactly? Yeah, so I work for an animal center and I work in their education department and we run um, educational programs for kids, specifically elementary school and middle school aged kids. Um, and so I manage and oversee the collection of all the animal ambassadors that we have. And right now I have about 60 animals that I oversee. Um, so which means I manage the staff that directly takes care of them. But then I also create and oversee their training regimens, their diets, all their husbandry, everything like that. Um, and then sometimes I do actually go in front of the public and teach and, and work with the animals and, and present and stuff like that. So I do a whole lot. And then there's also uh, another kind of third of my job, I guess, is I run uh, the social media platforms and stuff. So that's why I kind of, I know uh, a good amount about social media and things is because I, I help run their, their social media platforms. So I do, I do a whole lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> but I love my job because it keeps me really, really interested. It keeps me um, very entertained. But it's it's kind of hard to explain because I do do a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, it can definitely be very stressful. It's very rewarding, but it can be very stressful. Um, I have a lot of different moving pieces. And as I was mentioning earlier, animals and kids, for that matter, don't necessarily do exactly what you want them to. So... Um, so having like multiple plans, oh, he's going to groom her. Having multiple different plans is important because you never know what's going to happen. You think it's an African pack? That would be pretty cool if we got an African pack. 
<laughs> wow, that was Olympics worthy. It was. He's like convinced uh, or determined rather to show us his butt. Hi, Binner. We are just finishing up. We've got uh, about three more minutes until we're going to go bug Drew. But we're just, jeez. Uh, something about this rock system here. They just like jumping and morphing through each other. Oh, uh, thank you, Heather, for sharing the Discord and, and Silver Fox for reminding everybody to uh, to like the stream. Now we were talking about things that help out streamers. That definitely, definitely helps content creation. You want a bird pack? I would love a bird pack. I don't think you guys quite understand how much I would really love to have a bird pack. Look at him. Gorillas are so cool. I'm not a huge primate fan. And I say that, I, I do, I like all animals, um, but they're just not one of my favorites. These guys are pretty cool looking. I wish their faces were a little bit more saturated, like their noses and stuff. Wow, you guys are jumping all over the place too. Goodness. And their little butts are funny looking, but. Do you have rhinos at your zoo? Uh, at the zoo in Planet Zoo or like the real zoo? So my zoo is uh, San Diego Zoo, right? And yes, we do have rhinos um, at the safari park. Um, but I don't have rhinos in any of my zoos. No, I haven't actually built for any rhinos. Whoa, we are kind of clipping and doing all sorts of craziness over there. Oh, thanks, Silver Fox. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, and I am such a terrible YouTuber in the sense of, like, I really honestly should promote this stuff more and talk about it because, you know, it's kind of what you're supposed to do. But I am terrible at, like, self-promotion and stuff. Um, but yeah, we hit, we hit 7,000. So I, I tweeted about it and I put it on the discord. Oh, we have a baby. Um, but we hit 7,000 subscribers. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Literally something that we couldn't do without all of the 7,000 of you. So, uh, really, really appreciate it. And yeah, like Silver Fox said, we are, we're on our way to, to 8,000. <laughs> we're on our way to 10,000. And I know Drew asked me earlier, um, I'm still hooking up my camera. So I I bought a cam link I because I have a DSLR that I'm going to stream with. Um, it's my photography camera that I, I just have already, so I'm going to use it. Um, but I didn't have the adapter. I didn't have a, a mini HDMI to an HDMI, um, so I wasn't able to hook it up. So I'm still kind of figuring that out and then figuring out when I'm going to implement it, but still come in so you guys can see my little face. See my face when I'm talking to you. Next exhibit, Rhino. That's a good idea. It's actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. <sighs> Rhinos are your favorite species. Yeah, their conservation status is really sad. It's really, really sad. It was a great stream. To the Drufus. Did he already start his stream? But yeah. All right, guys. Um, well, all 84 of us that are still here, uh, if we want to head over to Drew's stream, I'm going to be hanging out with him too uh, in chat. So I really hope you guys all come with us. Heather or Silver Fox, can we get his link uh, one more time? Oh, he's in his 10 minute intro. Yeah. But yeah, head over there. That's where I'll be. If you guys want to keep hanging out, keep chatting. Show Drew some love. Poor guy. I'm sure he's going to talk about it. Um, I actually don't know what he's even streaming today. Uh, but he lost some progress in Thornton Hills Zoo and has had to rebuild some stuff. So we should go show him all the love because you you have no idea how frustrating that is to, to have completed a project. Especially because he was like done, done with it. And then uh, lost some progress uh, because of some crashing issues. So... He deserves some love today because I can't even imagine how frustrated he's been. <laughs> what about a unicorn statue? We don't have unicorns in the game. Thanks for coming, Minty. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for all the channel members. Um, if you guys do want to join, support the channel a little bit more, um, there is a join button below the stream. And uh, you can be part of the Banana Bunch. And anything and everything is always appreciated. So, um, and never, never expected. So, but thank you. Thank you for hanging out. 
Oh, unicorn mod. Yeah, you know, I, I don't play with unicorn, or I, I don't play with unicorns. I don't play with mods. Um, it's just not a, a preference I have, so um, I probably will not be putting in any mods anytime soon. Um, but, yeah, I like playing with the base game stuff. I like playing with the game as it is. Just a personal preference, nothing against mods. Yeah, I probably won't create a unicorn statue just because it doesn't have a place in any of the current zoo projects that I have. Apologies. However, Paul really likes unicorns. Let's go talk to him about unicorns. Oh, look, one of our monkeys is all the way down on the floor. <sighs> Hi, I'm new. Do you have any tips for creating a very detailed entrance? Hi, Riley. Thank you for stopping by. We're actually just wrapping up, but detailed entrance, uh, lots of reference pictures. I would. And then I, I mean, I kind of compartmentalize it in the sense of like, okay, I need to make a ticket booth. What does a ticket booth have? Okay. Now I need to make the line for the ticket booth. What does the line for the ticket booth have? I need to have some shade because maybe there's sun and, and just thinking about all those little details and, and go slow, you know, change things, try things out. Um, but reference pictures are huge. I would just spend some time Googling or on Pinterest, uh, zoo entrances or theme park entrances, you know, that kind of stuff to get some ideas. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, guys, okay, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to head over and hang out with Mr. Drusif. So I really, really hope you guys all, uh, all join me. Be sure to tell him if you are stopping by for my stream, drop some bananas in his chat pester the crap out of him with all the bananas because you guys are amazing and um i will see you guys i'll see you guys in the next stream i don't really know when it's gonna be but we'll figure it out and uh and yeah so thank you guys so much for joining me i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye